Welcome everybody to the Revel Systems iPad Cache Register demo. This is a simulation of the Revel Systems iPad point of sale. On the front screen here I have a pin pad. I have a clock in clock out in the right hand corner. When you clock in, users actually get their picture taken so other users cannot log in for them. Users can enter their pin. Once they log in, they get the view order screen. I have different menus at the top of the screen here. I have a sub menu down here. If I click on an item, it gets added to the order. I can actually click on let's see, an item that has options. Those options pop right up. I can select the modifiers that I wish to add to the order and then get added to the order. I can click a discount. I have percentages off or dollar amounts off. Let's say I just want to do five dollars off. It gives me five dollars off my total. You'll notice that there are all different kinds of options. I can put the order on hold. I can do dining options. I can take it to go, eat in, take out, catering, delivery. There's also web orders. Um, and you can specify those when you set up the system, which ones you want to see, which ones you don't want to see. I can click on an item. The edit screen pops in. I get a picture display here. I get the description over here. I can add quantity to the order. Again, I can add quantity to the order without going to the edit screen, of course. It makes it really easy. Dining options, discount just the item. I can remove the tax. I can add special requests. Um, I can just go ahead and add test. And you notice that it appears down here. If I want to pay for that, I'm going to click pay. And then the pay screen rolls right in. Go ahead and enter $100. Of course, it prompts me to print the receipt. I get the change here, and I click done. So it's really simple to actually add items to the order. I can go through a quick order, click pay and I can click exact change and I'm done. So it's pretty simple to run through the whole thing. It's very intuitive. Anyone can pretty much run the system um, when they first see it. Now, any of these errors that pop up are because the printer is not connected, of course. Um, and of course you wouldn't see those pop-ups if the printer was connected. I can add an item that's actually not in my menu. So I can go ahead and add the name, the price, even a tax rate if I wish. I can print a guest check. Uh, some of the more advanced features, I can recall the order I just did. I can look at held orders. I can search orders. Let's go ahead and look at today's orders. I want to recall the one I just did. So let's go down here and reopen an order. So there's my last order. Um, I can now void this order. I can actually refund the payment if I wish. No thanks. I just want to void it. And it tells me I have a balance due of 132 because I didn't refund the order. So I can order something else, and I see the order has been taken off. I have a balance of 667 instead of 799. So I can pay, pay what's left of the order, and I can move on and close the ticket for the next order. So it's pretty simple to use. There's also a customer information database. Um, I can type in a name. I can add something new if I wish, um, or I can search for a name. I can add that name to the order. And you'll notice that it gets added to the top there. So it's pretty pretty easy um, to do pretty much anything you need for the, for the port and sale. It really streamlines the whole process. There's a lot more advanced features that we can talk about. Uh, in the manager section, there's financials. You can do payment log. You can do cash drops. Uh, sorry, bank drops. I can print all the different items. I can actually email the payment log. Time management, I can see who's clocked in, who's not clocked out. Um, I can go ahead and clock them out for them if they haven't clocked out. I can do batch processing. I can lock the iPad to a certain user so that no one else can log into it. I have different settings. I can do two cash drawer support. I have till functionality um, and a whole bunch of other settings that I can set or not set. I can do tills. I can do gift cards. Clock in, clock out once I'm in. I can edit photo edit which means I can make any of these icons photos which makes it really nice I can take a picture around the iPad and, and create a photo there um, so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions on the quick service demo please contact us at revelsystems.com submit a request or you can call us at 415-413-0305 everyone have a great day thank you